This is the Diasland Professional Maintenance Team. Next, we will introduce the DY01 Bleed Kit. The DY01 Bleed Kit is a tool specifically designed to provide oiling for Diasland hydraulic brakes. DY01 Bleed Kit provides all the necessary tools for the entire oiling process, as well as a manual. Next, we will start the oil filling operation. Firstly, adjust the adjustment screw to the middle position. Remove the brake. Take out the brake pad. Insert the gear block. Use a wrench to remove the oil sealing hole screw of the brake. Note that there is a sealing ring on the sealing screw. Then insert the longer hose into the exhaust pipe. Connect the hose and oil filling hole with an oil filling joint. And lock the screw by hand. Slightly loosen the lock cover screw of the brake lever. Adjust the brake lever to be level with the grip. Then lock the brake lever. Open the oil sealing screw of the brake lever. Note that there is a sealing ring on the oil sealing screw. Then insert the shorter hose into the oil filling cylinder. Connect the hose to the oil filling cylinder with an M4 oil filling joint. And lock the screw by hand. Use an excess exhaust pipe to extract 20 milliliters of new mineral oil and inject it into the oil injection pipe. So that our preparation work is ready. Next, we start to inject oil. Exhaust the air cylinder. And extract the old mineral oil while also extracting the air. At this time, the oil inside the oil cylinder is decreasing. But it is important to maintain the presence of mineral oil throughout the process. If there is a shortage of mineral oil, it should be added in a timely manner, otherwise air will be sucked in. After extracting the air, squeeze the exhaust pipe again to allow the air to overflow from the upper oil injection pipe. Then, extract the air from the mineral oil by pumping the exhaust pipe again. Repeat the pumping several times until the exhaust pipe can no longer see bubbles or only a few bubbles can be seen during the pumping process. At the final pumping, Leave a small amount of brake oil remaining in the oil filling cylinder, and then replace the oil filling cylinder with an exhaust cylinder. Inject most of the oil pressure into the exhaust pipe at the brake end. Then loosen the joint and tighten the sealing screw again. Wipe off any remaining brake oil on the surface of the brake with a burlap. Remove the stopper, install the brake pads, and reinstall the brake onto the vehicle. Pull the exhaust cylinder at the end of the brake lever. Extract the air from the pipe, and then press the mineral oil pressure back repeatedly until the exhaust cylinder can no longer see bubbles or only a few bubbles can be seen during the extraction process. Finally, press the joint into the exhaust cylinder, loosen it, and tighten the sealing screw again. Slightly loosen the brake lever lock cover screw, adjust the brake lever to the appropriate angle, and then tighten the lock cover screw. Then adjust the adjusting screw to make the brake handle feel satisfactory.